everyone and welcome to another newscast. My name is Sam Healy and in this video we're going to tell you all of our latest news about our projects as well as the company. And of course, as always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. In Time of Legends Joan of Arc this week, following the previous scenario books posted, we have the Compendium Scenarios, which work as a four scenario long campaign. You can find the links in the description of the video, as well as in the Kickstarter update, as always. And of course, you can leave feedback on the files, which we are going to be implementing over the course of time. Additionally, later this week, Erwin will provide some extra insight into the changes that were brought to this book with regards to balance and clarity. Moving on to Solomon Cain, time to move back to our Wave 2 updates. Today, we're going to share with you the Witches of Salem, Act 1. The story begins with Solomon in a newly discovered fishing port called Salem. The first thing that he encounters is an angry mob that drags a woman toward the main square of Salem. Well, what is this woman's fault? Well, she's been accused of being a witch and she's about to be executed. It's not the first time our Puritan encounters such a situation. He remembers very well the story with the Witchfinder General. He knows that this is not the way to solve this. The heavy and gloomy atmosphere, however, shows that this is not the only problem in Salem. Solomon starts to investigate, and in his quest, he ends up talking to the mayor of the town. His clues lead him back to the swamps. After several uncomfortable and peculiar events unfold there, he finds a hut. Well, what will our Puritan do? More on this story next week. Moving on to Steam Watchers, some weeks are simply more eventful than others. In the past week, JB had been playtesting the game. Stefan has readied some graphical assets, laying out cards and taking care of the board changes we wanted to implement. And Matthew has written stuff for the lore book. The extensive testing that happens in Paris with JB and our intern Severine has shown all of the factions are fairly balanced, with two out of the seven being a little bit riskier than the others. More next week on Steam Watchers. And finally, to Hell the Last Saga. We will be launching the Pledge Manager by this Friday, June 26th. If you were a backer of the Kickstarter campaign, you'll be able to finalize your pledge Choose the language that you want, provide your mailing address, and pay for shipping. In your card, you will find a credit equal to the amount that you paid during the Kickstarter campaign. Here, you will have to select the pledge that you want, which can be the same or different than the one you chose on Kickstarter. You can also select any number of add-ons and additional pledges at this time as well. If the total cost of your items in your cart exceeds the amount you pledged on Kickstarter, which was represented by the credit I spoke of earlier, then you can pay the difference on the Pledge Manager when you check out. The Pledge Manager also works as the late pledge option for the game, so if you haven't backed it on Kickstarter, make sure to check it out as Hell the Last Saga will not be available in retail. Finally, we've been made aware of an issue concerning replacement orders with Meeple Logistics. If anyone has ever received and filled out a form requesting more information outside of name, email, order number, address, and phone number, then please contact us immediately so that we can, one, make sure rep your replacement is being processed and sent, and two, request that the destruction of personal information on uh, Meeple Logistics' side Thank you so much for your time and diligence in helping us follow up on this. Well, that's it for this week. Stay home, stay safe, play some games while you're at it, and we'll see you on the flip side. Take care.